Have you ever felt trapped? Like there's nowhere else to go? I'm pretty sure I heard some of you say out loud, yes. <laughs> well, there's an account in the Bible that's always been very dear to my heart. And it's the account of when the Israelites were fleeing from Egypt. God had rescued them and freed them. And they were on their way to freedom. And this account in Exodus 14, um, God gives them some clear direction when they come to a point that they are trapped. They have the Red Sea in front of them and the Egyptian army behind. And God says, tell them this, do not be afraid. Stand firm and you will see the deliverance that the Lord will bring you. The Lord will fight for you. You need only be still. Powerful, simple directions from God to his people. The Israelites needed, in my opinion, to, to have the three R's. There's a lot of you who are homeschooling right now, and you're living out the three R's day by day, reading, writing, and arithmetic. But there's three other R's that I'd like for us to think about today, and it's rest, remember, and rely. The first one is rest. The Israelites were told, do not be afraid, stand firm, be still. Resting in the Lord is difficult, even when we have a lot of time on our hands, and sometimes especially when we have a lot of time on our hands. To not be afraid in frightening times, to stand firm when things are changing hour by hour, to be still when our desire is to flee, these things are difficult. Resting in God requires great trust and, and strong faith. But the truth is, the one true living God is trustworthy and he is faithful and we can rest in him. The second R is remember. The Israelites were reminded in verse 14, the Lord will fight for you. They needed to remember who was on their side. They had just lived through the 10 plagues. They had seen God's mighty power at work for them. Surely they could remember the God who did all of that. But we, like them, sometimes get busy and scared and caught up in the moment or the problem or the crisis. And sometimes in those moments, our hindsight becomes a little blurry. But it is good for us to remember the goodness of God. The third R is rely. The Israelites were standing on the shore and they were asked to rely on God's deliverance. They had just been delivered from slavery in Egypt. One would think they could rely on God to deliver them now. They thought it was over. They could not see any way out. The Red Sea was blocking their way. But what they didn't take into account was the one true living God who made the Red Sea could also part it. The dry ground they needed to cross over was coming. And friends, the dry ground we need is coming. The three R's that I ask for us to think about today, and I say this to my own heart and mind, may he help us rest in him. May he help us remember his character and his deeds of the past. And may he help us rely on his power and provision day by day, hour by hour, moment by moment. May his blessings and peace be yours.